So here's a sampling hack that nobody talks about in FL Studio. I feel like no producers really know about this or utilize it or realize how powerful this tool is. So to start out, I started this beat with this new flex pack. If you don't know about it, it's called the goodie bag. It has a really cool feature in here, which is all these kits. They're basically sample chops chopped out throughout the entire kit and you can play them on your keyboard. <laughs> So I created this loop right here out of these sample chops. So it sounds good. I love the sample chop, but the sample chops come in at a different tempo. So it kind of threw things off a little bit and things are like out of whack. So I came up with the solution to do it. I sent that to its own mixer track. I went over to this channel right here on insert number one or whatever one. If you have any effects, make sure Edison is below it if you did anything to it. So that way the effects get recorded. But right now there's nothing else on here. So I just hit record and then I hit play. stop it right there before we export this out there's this little bit of dead space so what i like to do is to just trim that dead space out hit delete make sure there's absolutely no dead space there because it can mess up the next part that we're going to do and then now we can export this into the channel rack now inside the channel rack i'm going to right click here and here's where the gems happen this is edit in time warper you're going to click that now this brings up new time not new tone new time this is a time warping plugin a lot of different features up here, but I'm just going to leave it as is. Zoom in a little bit, scroll the mouse wheel, and you can see it's off the grid. We're just literally going to snap that into the grid. And if your snap isn't turned on by default, you could just turn that on right here by clicking a quarter beat. That one's locked in. Just go into every little one right here and just make sure that they're locked into the grid. Anything that you see is off. Lock those transients into the grid. It just detects all the transients. And the algorithm that they use is like spot on because you don't hear any sort of warping or any sort of artifacts that get added or anything like that. So I'm just literally going into every little one that I see that's off and nudging it to be locked into the grid. That's really it. And then when you're done with this, what you can do is let's minimize the channel rack here. Go into the playlist. Make sure we got new time opened up. Now you can click right here and drag it in as a new audio clip or you can replace this audio clip. So what I did was I just dragged this in right here and literally just replaced my audio clip. But I'll show you, you can drag it in like that as well as a new audio clip. I'm going to delete that for now. But yeah, this is my new audio clip that's completely locked into the grid. It still has a little bit of looseness, but it's way better with the transients that just hit. It's way more in time. So I'll throw the metronome on right here. Then you can really tell. So it loops nicely. You can hear that it still has a little bit of looseness in there where it doesn't sound like robotic. It sounds like real instruments still being played out, but the transients are locked into the point where we don't have this feeling of it being like really off the grid and off time. Let's give it a listen in the full context of the mix with everything else in the drums. Just like that. Let me know if you've heard a new time in the comment section down below. And by the way, I'm giving away a free FL Studio preset pack. So click the link down in the description for that and see the pinned comment. And as always, make sure to share this with a friend if you get me.